Hey everybody, welcome to the TikTok ads and St. Patrick's Day webinar. Uh, give me one in the chat box. You can hear me and see my screen okay. Everybody there. Good, good, good. We got one. Quite a few people on today. Holy cow. Love it. So, number two, let me know where you're at. I love to see where everybody's at in the world. Let's see who the furthest away is. California. Nice. Beautiful there. New Jersey, nice and cold there. <laughs> Sacramento, Eugene, Atlanta, Guernsey, Channel Islands, UK. Wow. Chile, nice. ND, North Dakota. I take it. Lovely. All right. We, so, man, so we got people around the world again, which is pretty cool for a, what's today? What is it, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday morning. At 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern, man, I love it. All right, so I do have, uh, I'm going to do things totally different on this one. Usually you guys are used to me like going through a whole presentation with Google Slides and all that stuff. Today I'm experimenting with something a little more off the cuff, a little more organic, just because I want to do something different. I do a lot of webinars, and honestly, I'm always trying to test and tweak and make them the best I can. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with something totally different. Um, I want to do a calculator, and I will share this guys this with you guys later if you want it. Uh, I'll tell you how you can get your hands on it. So the thing is this. we got to set some expectations first. And the first question that you guys are wondering is this. So, yeah, we're going to get into TikTok ads. We're going to get into uh, funny products. We're going to get into how to tie them all together. But how much can I make? That is the question. So what I typically do um, when I'm trying to get pumped up, when I'm trying to get motivated, when I'm trying to set some goals, is I'll create a little spreadsheet. I'll say, okay, if I have, say, a shirt and I sell it for, what am I going to sell it for? Like $24.95? Okay, that's cool. And if it costs me, um, say, I don't, I don't, can't even remember what they cost. What's a t shirt cost to produce? $5.95, $6.95, $9.95, something like that? I'll double check it, but. Let's say 9.95. So then my my actual um, profit before ads is going to be this 24.95 minus oh crap did that wrong. This is live by the way, as you can tell. So I will make mistakes, but that's okay. This minus this. So that's fifteen dollars. Okay. So profit before ads is fifteen dollars. Now let's say my at cost to get one sale. So add cost for one sale. Let's say it costs me, I can go up to $15. Let's say it costs me, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks to get a sale. Then my actual profit after ads is going to be this. So we'll go plus this minus this there we go so there's your number right there five bucks per sale see how i did that so this is the number we need to be concerned with because we took our shirt we sold it for 24.95 cost is like 9.95 in this example so profit before ads is that and then ad cost say it costs us 10 bucks to get a sale which would be really really good then the profit after ads is that. Now, what's your goal? What do you want to do? So most people say, well, I want to make like, uh, well, let's start small. Goal for month. Let's say you want to make um, simply, a lot of people just are like, let's get going. Let's make a thousand bucks. Okay, month has X days. 30 days, we'll just assume, all right? Go here, so that's your goal is a thousand. The month has 30 days, so your profit per day is going to be 1,000 divided by 30, $33.33 per day. So if you wanna do 10,000, you just change that, all right? But let's keep it small to start. Because a lot of people just want to see some profits coming in their pocket. Um, if you want to scale, change that number. That's cool. No problem. So your profit per day is 33.33. 33. So now, 
how much do you have to do up here to hit that, right? How many sales, how much, uh, for one sale, it's going to cost you a total of uh, 9.95 plus 10. So 19.95 is going to cost you per sale. Uh, your profit after adds five bucks. So if your profit per day is this, then sales per day, per day needed, is going to be this number, 33.33, divided by this. So you're going to need six sales per day. Let's make that nice and round instead. Let's go uh, format, number. Let's go number. And let's move that decimal place over. We'll call it seven. So you need seven sales per day at a profit of $5 per sale to make $33.33 per day. So if you want to do more, when you go like this, so 5,000, this is the fun with these. You want to do 166 per day, you need 33 sales per day. So how much is your ad cost going to be on that? Well, let's look at that too. So your sales per day is that. What's your ad cost per day? What's my budget? What do I need? Okay, well, if you're getting 33 sales per day and it costs you uh, 10 bucks each, then it's going to be this number divided by your ad cost per sale. Oh, wait, yeah, 10, that's for one. And then, no, oh, that's not right. Hang on. Your ad cost per day is going to be times the, okay, so plus this number times, not divided by that. There. So your revenue, let's put this in here. Let's insert a line just so we can make this clear. Revenue per day is going to be plus sales times the cost and then your profit if i did that right which i probably didn't base cost we'll call it that we got to get all our expenses in here that Is going to be that minus that minus that. There we go. That's how we came up with it. See how that works? Uh, so some people are saying you have to take account tax, insurance, payment processing fees for state PayPal. Yeah, you can do all that too. Uh, absolutely. Um, I don't know what everybody is in a different country, so I can't really account for tax. I can't account for insurance at all. Um, that will be on top of this, but when we're looking at these, setting these goals, we're looking at it on the numbers that I can see, and that will actually apply to everybody. So somebody would ask about taxes and payment processing fees and all that. That will definitely come off your profit. So this is before all those two. So this is to give you an idea, right? So now we can change this number back to 1,000. Look at that. So you got a revenue of 166 per day. Your ad cost is 66, your base cost for the shirts is 66, your profit's 33 on seven sales. So if you want to do uh, 10,000 per month, here's where it gets interesting because that's what you need to spend per day. So setting expectations is the whole point of this. If you want to make um, $333.33 per day, you need 67 sales per day. You're going to be spending about $667 to hit it. So your revenue is a lot higher, right? But you subtract your ad costs and your base costs for the shirts, there's your profit before your tax insurance and fees for your processor, <clears throat> which I'm not putting in here because we're just setting expectations. Of course, those are gonna come off later, All right? Everybody get that? So this is why I do this. So now some guys are doing like big numbers. Let's say you actually have a monster month and you hit 100,000 which is possible, more so in the fourth quarter, but um, look at what you're spending per day to hit those numbers. So whenever you see somebody like with a gigantic screenshot on, on Facebook and they're, they're bragging about how much they made, typically they only show this number. 
they never show this part and they certainly never show this net profit I'll put profit before all other there okay so nobody ever shows this part they only show this part so all those big screenshots you see in groups all those guys bragging away they could have spent like a fortune and they could have made nothing so let's look at our roi here and let's get realistic so roi is going to be your profit divided by your expense so if the profit is this so it's going to be profit divided by your expense which is going to be the sum of these two so let's go and put in that that plus that and then we'll put this into a percent so your roi is 25 percent considering all these numbers now if you change these numbers it gets a little bit better so let's say you do really well on ads and you knock a dollar off your cost so it changes everything let's go back to a thousand because a hundred thousand is not realistic for most people on here uh, so let's say you're at, you want a goal of a thousand per month it's costing you nine bucks to get a sale your roi is 31 percent so this is a little calculator that you guys can use in order to play with it and to set some realistic expectations so that when you get into actually running ads because you are going to be running ads um, you know that a lot of this stuff it's over here no, that's better you know what to expect so if you're going in here and saying and expecting this to be a hundred percent then this would have to be like a dollar no two dollars which is not realistic. Maybe 250. Let's see what I can get here. Yep. So your cost per sale would have to be 250 to get 100% ROI, which is not realistic at all. So this is more of a realistic area that I would say even 10 bucks per sale. That's more realistic. So your ROI is 25%, which means that you spend um, this much to make this much. So that's the way it goes. That's how much you can make. I can share this with you guys if you want um, quite easily. So let me know if you want it. Uh, so if you want this, I'm going to do this. If you want this, email. Actually, I'll share it in the group. And the group is here. I know a lot of you are in the group, so that's good. It's ppc-coach.com slash group. Click that, and that will take you right into this free Facebook group. And I'll post it in here. Oh, there's another one. Ah, pinch me, and I'll punch you. Nice. All right, go there, and I'll share this in the group. If I don't share it, right immediately, immediately, just remind me, actually. The beauty of being live is I can do this. You guys want it? Here you go. Here is the free uh, spreadsheet for setting realistic expectations. There you go. Let's put an emoji on there just because it looks better. Go for it. Well, wait till I'm done here. <laughs> you can go. When you click it, it'll ask to make a copy. Cool, all right? We're doing stuff live. This is awesome. All right. Now, let's look at what we can sell. So we're talking St. Patrick's Day um, because we want to actually jump on this real quick. Um, it's coming up fast in March for the North America. I don't know if it's a different day around the world or maybe, but... Um, Here's what I'm looking at. So I mean, I did make a post in the group here. Oh, actually, I asked people to start posting funny ones. So here's one from Wayne. So that's actually, that's not bad. Good job. So let's put a like on that. And then let's look at another one. I put the she in shenanigans. That's funny. I already commented on that one. Uh, so this Irishman walks out of a bar. No, really, it can happen. So funny. But uh, we got to worry about, we don't want to do anything like racist because there was somebody in the group that was saying he's Irish and he doesn't like all these and 
that's fine. Everybody has their, you know, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or anybody like anything like that. But here's something that's more generic, right? Like I'm prone to shenanigans and malarkey. That's good. Um, this one I really like. Let's get ready to stumble. <laughs> this is that's funny because it's just like a St. Patty's Day. You know, they everybody's drinking green beer and all that stuff. Um, this is something too that's funny. I will be vaccinated against Corona, but never against Guinness. And somebody did mention, I think they spelled Guinness wrong. But these are all just examples. Here's one that I'm not sure. What, well, I know this definitely wouldn't fly on Facebook ads, but we're not really looking at Facebook ads. We're looking at TikTok. So uh, this is something I'm going to get to in a second. But here's another one. This one. Does this shirt make my shamrocks look big? Something like this is really good. And this is something that we could create very easily in a program like Photoshop or Canva, or we could get one made for dirt cheap on like Fiverr. So what I would do is I would actually take a screenshot of this. How are you guys? Because I think this shirt can do very, very well. So I took a screenshot, just used uh, Snagit for my program, and I'll save that because I think that's one that I might actually go for this. Um, later and try and sell a shirt like that so i'll make my own design but it, it'll be super easy to do here's another one like heartbeats that's fine this one is funny too irish in progress like a t-shirt uh this one you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning that's good too that's on zazzle so speaking of which uh where else can we get ideas right so what you do is you go to sites like zazzle you go to sites like etsy um okay fine i'll go to dot ca i don't care and you can find a whole bunch of these shirts. So there's personalized ones you can do. We can actually do personalized too. So your text, your text, that's not really going to sell well. Love, uh, magically delicious, that's funny. Uh, skull, St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Skull, that's good. So if I just go to Zazzle and I type in St. Patrick's Day, I don't want men's, I want women's. So I'm going to put shirts, see what comes up. A lot of men. Where's the corn? I don't know what that means. Uh, kiss me. I'm a newbie. Okay. Honey badger. Don't care about hangovers. Mom. Wow. It's assholes lacking, to be honest. Not impressed so far. Uh, worlds. Tallest leprechaun. Okay. That's yeah. All right. Um, one place I would go to is I'll definitely here. Go to Etsy and type this in. Let's try a shirt. Although it doesn't matter if it's a shirt or not. So what you can do here is you can cheat big time because they have best sellers. So shenanigan squad, best seller. So let's just open this in a new tab. And it's just a little t-shirt. Uh, sell them for dirt cheap. Holy crap. I don't even know how they're making money on that. they got to be losing at that price. So 300 shop reviews. What you're looking for on Etsy is if the shop reviews are that amount, that's fine. But you want to see reviews for this item. Um, because that will give you an indication of the actual item selling. So here's a bunch. Irish St. Patrick's Day shirt. American. Looking for some funny ones. Upper Clan Squad. Adidas. Huh. I don't know why it always puts me in the UK. I'm not in the UK. St. Patrick's Day drinking team. Let the shenanigans begin. Whole bunch of them. Uh, the one where I'm Irish. Okay. Irish, you were beer. See, that's funny. Stupid, but funny. <laughs> I like that. Even though it's dumb. So ideas are everywhere. Uh, oh, what the heck? What is this? That caught my eye, obviously, because I'm a man, but happy St. Patrick's Day. That's actually kind of funny. That's funny. That could work. Because if a woman buys that, I mean, I know it's kind of sexist, but it's funny. Uh, a woman buys that, she's going to get um, <laughs> a lot of second looks. She's like, what? Wait, what? Okay, let's go back here. Look at this, like this too. That's funny. 
something simple. Shamrock and roll, love, that's kind of cool. Sassy Lassie, everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, just very simple. Oh, tipsy, oh, drunker. So you can do two packs, that's kind of cool. Um, so you can go there to Etsy, you can find quite a bit. You can go to Zazzle, you can go to, oh, let's go here. You can go to Google and put this, funny, St. Patrick's Day shirts. Now, here you're gonna get a ton. There's a ton of stores out there and all these stores put these. So you can go to, here's one, like Crazy Dog Shirts. I, I'm sure this is a Shopify store. I wonder if beer thinks about me too. That's funny. World's Tallest Leprechaun, there you go. Uh, what else we got here? Who all seen a leprechaun say, yeah, that's weird. She's my drunken half. That's okay, been drinking. Do I want a beer? A, yes, B, A, C, B. Ah. That's actually good. So what I do when I find this stuff is that I like to take like little screenshots. That's not really St. Patrick's Day, but kind of bit chased. That's funny. Let's get ready to stumble. There it is again. So if you're seeing this all over the place, you can easily make your own design too. I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of that too. And what I do is uh, I organize these and do a folder. Let's go back here. Okay, so I got a bunch there, but you can also go to just images, right? And you can start looking through here. Look at all these. All these are funny ones. Zero lux given. That caught my eye. I don't know why, but it did. Let's get shamrocked. Namaste at the bar. Gets me, I'm Ira. Oh, is that Mike Tyson? Figures. Uh, I love shenanigans. If you can read this, put me back on my bar stool. Huh. That's good. So the ideas are all over the place. And it's not just t-shirts. If you do, um, I don't know, shot glass. Let's see what comes up. Happy uh, green, green, drink me, I'm Irish. Look at these, too cool to pinch, shake them shamrock pot of gold so don't limit yourself right if you're looking for this four score and seven beers to go as wow well, kiss me i'm drunk oh yeah that, that's the ones these ones kiss me on my irish right there's a million of these Kiss me on my Irish fishing. So tons of those. Jeez. Oh, Pinterest, that's our other one, which leads me here. You can go down such a rabbit hole with this. So if I go to Pinterest and look at this pin, you'll see usually down below, there'll be a whole bunch of other ones. It doesn't seem to be loading. There we go. Once you find one, then there's a whole bunch down here too. And you'll see a whole bunch of pins and everything that people did. Swedish candy, tough, best dance, Celtic woman, funny. Yeah, they, I mean, the rabbit holes that we can go down with this is, is just nuts. So uh, somebody's asking, could we do plastic beer steins? Would that be a good choice for a product? Plastic, I don't have a supplier for, which is your next question. Um, but yeah, you could do beer steins for sure. I know there is another supplier that does glass ones because I've used them in the past. Um, but I'm thinking uh, t-shirts are a quick sell, quick and easy. Um, but yeah, don't limit yourself product-wise either. So the rabbit hole you can go down basically to find all of these different designs, uh, all these ideas, all these, all this good stuff is awesome. So the, the key is like research, find a whole bunch, organize them, get a design made, put load it up onto a print-on-demand site, which is what I do, and then sell it. So when we're looking to sell it, we really need to find like where, how do, we, so say we got a, well, let's pick one. Say we got, let's go back here. I won't put shirt in here and see what comes up. There's a whole bunch too, right? Make St. Patrick, oh, let's put shirt in here. Let's put women's shirt. Let's see what Google says. So let's say, I like that shamrock one. There's no shamrock one. That one's saying it. I think this will sell very well. Does this show? Okay. 
does this I want to find out if there's more of these out there does this shirt make Let's see what comes up stop staring at my shamrocks well there it is it's on ebay let's go look at it all right they're selling it like 19.95 by 2 17.96 so say this shirt say we get it made uh, i don't want to sign in say we get this made right and then we want to sell it so how do we sell this well we have to find women that are um to have a sense of humor and would like this, I guess. So where do we go for that? Well, I'm gonna show you a place. So usually I'll go to Facebook ads and I'll start running ads and you could definitely do that. Um, you can go to Google, you can start running ads there. Nothing wrong with that too. There's Google search, there's YouTube ads. There's a whole bunch of different ways to actually get eyeballs on these. But here's uh, something very cool, TikTok. Um, so TikTok is that little app that like my daughters use. And it's like uh, 15 second short, super short videos where they do all these funny dances. And my daughter will literally, she'll be sitting at the dinner table doing, practicing like a TikTok arm thing. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, it looks like she's having a convulsion or something, but she's like, it's a TikTok dance. And I'm like, oh my God. Uh, so I'm like, for the past year, I'm like, man, TikTok, it's just for kids. You know, there's nobody ever gonna really buy anything on there's no buyers on there i'm not even gonna bother with it that's like a kitty thing um i'm wrong <laughs> so when i'm wrong i'll admit it so here's some stats that i'm gonna go through just to get you guys excited because tiktok is where you can go to run ads to things like let me pull this over where'd my mouse go lost my mouse things like this so imagine you create this t-shirt put it on tiktok and you send them to your um, little platform of choice, which I have a couple that I use. Um, so here's the thing, TikTok, it says available in 150 countries. This blew my mind. They have over a billion users. There's like, what, 7 billion people in, in the world? And they have a billion. It's been downloaded 200 million times in the US alone. Okay, if your brand's target audience includes any one between 13 and 40 you should be on tiktok right now <laughs> no yeah holy crap so i'm thinking like okay 13 no like anything basically under 18 no but if i can get like someone who a female who's like older and thinks that you know someone like 21 to 40 holy crap all i got to do is figure out what product i can show to them that's going to work so this will work so here you go, monthly active users, a billion. That's in November, 2018. Wow, this is updated stats. I guess that's not that updated. We, oh, we estimate it's over 1.1 billion. Jeez. Total app downloads, been downloaded like multiple times. Monthly active users in the US in an official lawsuit filed by TikTok against the US government in August 25th, 2020, TikTok now they have 100 million active users in the US. Holy crap. And I'll tell you, uh, the bulk of them are female. So uh, as long as we make our products targeting females, we're good to go. Among uh, US over 18, TikTok brought in 22.2 million mobile unique visitors in January, 28.8 in February. So they're, they're just going up. Percentage of US-based TikTok users by age range. Okay, here we go. So 10 to 19, is th so the bulk of them, like a third are youngsters, right? Like my daughters, right? But look at this, 20 to 29, almost 30%. Ooh, now we're getting into where they have actual disposable income. 16%, 30 to 39. 13.9%, uh, 40 to 49. 50 plus to seven. So this, these three bars on the end, that's our target demographic. We don't really concern ourselves with the bulk of the traffic is like youngsters. That's fine. And they might buy it, they might not. We want to target people that have money. These people have money. Because either these are the same people that I would be targeting demographically, age-wise, on Facebook and on Google and on YouTube. So they're on TikTok. So I need to put my product in front of them. This average minutes per user, I don't really care. Uh, opens, a user opens the TikTok app eight times per day. Wow, think about that. Holy crap. 
83% of TikTok users have posted a video. Do you know why they post a video? Do you know why? Anybody know why? Give me a guess in the in the chat box. Why would somebody post a video on TikTok? What's the goal? What do they want? Yeah, there, somebody said it. They want to be seen. They want attention. They want attention. That's why they're on that freaking thing. Because they want to do their dances, do their dance challenges, do all that crap. And so if we put a funny t-shirt in front of them, they're going to get attention. If What if they're wearing the funny t-shirt that we've sold them on a like dance challenge that they do? Holy crap. Awesome. So we know they want attention. So let's give them something funny that will get them attention. Not even off TikTok, like in real life, right? So let's go here. Uh, Gen Z, 60% of TikTok users are Gen Z. Uh, Gen Z users are trendsetters. Okay, I, I lose track of what all these generations are, but whatever. Uh, revenue. They're estimated to pull in 500 million in revenue from the US alone in 2020. That's going to go up as more people um, like me actually stop ignoring them. So uh, Facebook has a program called Lasso, I guess, which is like a kind of the same thing. So somebody just said, uh, my daughter did a video that got 17 million views. Gee, wow. 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 So dude um make a store and make let your make your daughter just wear the, the shirt with the url on the front and can you imagine if you had 17 million views and they went to your website or or like even like what two percent even went to your website look at all that free traffic man my god it's a gold mine all right so they're paying influencers there's all this other stuff there's there's something else i found interesting in here before uh, top t trending song is typically a top trending song. Top trending song on Spotify as well. Uh, TikTok Creator Marketplace is a platform that houses thousands of profiles of TikTok creators. Brands can search the marketplace for creators whose audience best fit their target market. Need access where you have it. I'm actually going to open this. We're not going to do that right now, but um, that's something I will mention uh, in future training because that's like influencer marketing. 104 million product downloads, engagement, it's hard to quantify. Uh, do, 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 creator fund, TikTok stars. Addison Ray comes in at number one, making 5 million. Oh my God, maybe I should get on TikTok and just dance around in my underwear, I don't know. Actually, that might not get me $5 million. People might leave it. TikTok top 100 influencers. Wow, six creators have at least 50 million followers. Can you imagine having 50 million followers? You would just like, that's like a faucet of money if you know how to monetize it. So marketing. Okay, here we go. Brand takeovers, hashtag challenges. Advertising campaigns start at 50. No, they don't. They're less than that. Contact us today if you want. Okay, so I think this is an agency site I'm on. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a whole bunch. Anyway, the point is this. Uh, TikTok is amazing. This is their creator thing. But I'm going to actually go to their page and show you where you can go uh, tick talk ads now one other thing is they have this uh, free credit thing for small businesses right now oops i'm trying to find the details on it get down there come on load no i didn't want there Ah, damn it. Let it leave. Let it go to incognito. Trying to get me to launch again. A campaign. There it is. There was time for it. That I saw. Visit the back to business section of TikTok for business. Click get started. Because some people are like, well, I, you know, that's cool. Uh, I can run ads, but I don't want to spend any money. So they do have an ad credit program going on right now. Who's eligible? There you go. You need to submit document. Oh, okay. So you do need a business ID to get this. Uh, you can apply as a new one. How much will I get? Once you've once you're verified as a small business. You'll be able to claim $300 US or the equivalent in your local currency and add credit. You'll also be able to top up your credit by investing additional funds 
that are matched one to one by TikTok up to two thousand dollars. That means you get three hundred dollars of free ad credit plus a matching amount of whatever additional money you invest. So if, for example, you decide to top up your your credit by investing an additional thousand, you'll have a total of twenty three hundred ad credit, three hundred dollars plus the one k you invested plus a hundred plus the one k TikTok match. So thirteen hundred will be free. There you go. So uh, here's there are, there are details on what you need to do. There's our back to business program. Maybe I can share this too in the group. I'll put that in there. If you qualify, you can get that. So the ads can be free, which is just wicked. Go here. TikTok ads. Is TikTok one word? I didn't even know that. Get started there. So this is where you go to do it. You create an account. Um, now, they are only taking small businesses right now, right? So you become a small business if you aren't one already. That means um, just put in, create, you're going to have to create like a dummy page uh, for your business, name it, and uh, all they need is a URL, and then you're good to go. They don't even check anything else. Um, I got in, I made a very simple one. If you want to use a free site, use like a any free um web host you can you can create a wordpress site to do it anyway there's more training on that coming but tiktok is where it's at number one so number one two and three so how can you put all this together right um before we get to that i want to show you one other thing i want you to go to facebook and i want you to search for this tiktok hashtag tiktok made me buy it okay even if you go to the group and click it you'll be taken to this page this is the hashtag. Now, I'm doing this on Facebook, but if you have the TikTok app, which you should probably go get, and you search for this, you will see all the products that people on TikTok bought because they saw it on TikTok. Think of the gold mine of products as marketers that they just like handed us a list of products that they like and said, hey, do you, you know, here's what we just bought. If you're a drop shipper or something, how gold is that? If you're like us and you're like, okay, that's cool. Um, let's start scrolling through. Let's see if there's anything on here. Um, how to get hard water glass off. Wait, how to get hard water off of glass shower doors. I tried this and it worked wonders. So there's something called pink stuff or something like that. I think it was right there. Showed it. This. So this thing is advertising on Pickbook, on TikTok. Um, TikTok made me buy it, so somebody actually posts on Facebook. There's another one, whatever that is. This thing is all over the place on TikTok. I don't know why. It's some mop, and you like push down the thing and it spins. Like, ooh, big deal. But they got it on TikTok. It went viral in a 19 second like ad, I guess. And now all these people are are buying it. Here's another one, a little band. So my point of this all is you can go through all these and look at all these products that are selling, but I want you, I did it because I want you to know that products are selling on TikTok because this hashtag TikTok made me buy it. It's showing up even on Facebook. So if you download the app and you go to TikTok and search for this, you're going to see all the freaking products that are selling on there. Here's another one. I don't even know what this is. Clean your floors. Bissell Steam Shot. Wow, that's selling on TikTok? Okay. Imagine we put like a real good product, not some gimmicky gadget crap. This one, TikTok made me buy it. This one, somebody's actually selling vacuum cleaners on TikTok or whatever this, maybe a floor cleaner. I don't know what it is. There's that mop again. There's more stuff. There's more. There's more. So I got like 2,000 results here. There's a mask with like a funny thing on it. I guess when she talks, it actually um, changes. That's actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear the audio, but she's talking and the lips are moving. Wow. That's good. So here's my point. People are buying stuff. They're buying stuff. And we can see that. There's proof right here. Shower heads with beans in them. What the heck is that? I don't even know. Toys. Donut squeeze thing. Like the stupidest stuff sells. So we can easily put up some funny stuff. And these guys will buy it. There's that pink stuff again. These guys are going nuts. Leggings. Uh, learning Express Toys of the Woodlands. I don't know what they're doing. 
there's somebody with a fidget pulley thing. But let, let's just try some. I haven't even tried this yet, but let's go. Um, I don't even know if this will work on Facebook. It might not. No, I don't think it's going to. Maybe it'll work on TikTok if you put that on there, but it won't work here. But I mean, we're on Facebook. We're on a totally different platform. Anyway, hashtag TikTok made me buy it is like a gold mine. And if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. So now you're probably thinking, okay, that's cool, Will. You showed me a lot of stuff. You showed me like a nice little calculator, showed a bunch of examples of funny items. Um, you introduced me to TikTok. You showed how to prove like people are actually buying stuff on there. What's the next step, right? Well, the next step is put it all together. So you can do this all yourself. You can take all the stuff that I just covered and you can put it all together yourself, definitely. Um, but it's going to take a lot longer. It's going to be hard to figure out. Or the other solution is to go here. So I've got these forums, right? I'm going to show them to you. And what I'm doing is the St. Patrick's Day challenge. And this one, I just put it in here, is all about St. Patrick's Day products using TikTok ads. This is live. So here's where the sessions are going to be, one, two, and three. It's, going to, it's starting in two days, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday of this week, Thursday of next week, Thursday of the following week. So we're going to do um, researching, getting designs created. Then we're going to do, be doing launching, not only on our print-on-demand supplier, but also our TikTok ads. And then we're going to do, in session three, we're going to do troubleshooting, uh, optimizing, and scaling. So TikTok ads are are brand new. There are some videos on YouTube about them. Um, I've seen them, and honestly, they're pretty basic. So with the knowledge that uh, a lot of us on here, I recognize some pretty big uh, hitters on here, with the knowledge that we have already with Facebook ads and YouTube ads and Google search, the transition to TikTok ads is actually going to be really easy for us. So I have no problem. I don't even really run much on TikTok at all. But and that's my disclaimer, right? But I know I'm going to dominate this platform. So um, my goal is to be the go-to resource for TikTok ads because I want to diversify. Facebook's been bananas lately. They restrict people. They ban ad accounts. They do this left, right, and center. They make you wait months and months and months for even a response. Um, I have a rep myself at Facebook, and he's confused. He's like, he doesn't know why all these people are getting restricted and banned, and it's bots that are doing it. And then you sit there and you wait after you appeal and then they might say oh no the decision's final and then another guy says no no you're good to go it's like what is going on with facebook they, i think facebook is so unstable right now that uh i'm leaning more and more off them <laughs> just because the, the results are inconsistent their tracking is inconsistent they're just they're in a they're in a mess um I've, i haven't had more inconsistent results with them since i started on the platform so I'm a little bit weary of, of Facebook, plus the fact that a lot of people who are in my forums, a lot of members, they got banned. So I can't teach Facebook ads in my forums anymore because like half the people are banned. So what the heck am I going to do? Well, I mean, there's black hat solutions we can go for and, you know, whatever. If Facebook screwed you over, go black hat. I don't care. But there's also other platforms. So the goal of this is learning TikTok ads. We're going to focus on St. Patrick's Day, but that means this training can apply year round to all sorts of products because once we know the demographic all we have to do is figure out what they're going to buy we put those products in front of them they're going to do it the beauty of tiktok too is you're going to get a lot of people who buy they're going to put that hashtag tiktok maybe buy it if that goes and then it's your product that they're showing holy crap you're going to get a buttload of free traffic from that too you know, maybe we use ads to kickstart it, which is what I'm definitely going to do because I'm a paid ad guy. That's what I want to do. But the just the possibilities on this are just so through the roof. I love it. I just love it, love it, love it. So, uh, yeah, somebody said they banned my St. Patrick's Day ad. Yep. Oh, was that Facebook? I bet it was Facebook. Facebook bans everything. That, I swear to God, Facebook just, when you hit submit, they're like, yeah, let's ban it automatically. And then if they come and appeal, then we know they're not some uh, scammer, I guess, but like none of us are scammers. We're not scamming people. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, point is this, you can join this, all right? So if you want to join, I want you in there and I want you to go here. So go to PPC. Some of you are already in there. I see some members. Trial, go here. And this is going to blow you away too. So here's the first live training session 
one of three starts in one day, 23 hours, 11 minutes, 42 seconds, as of me saying that. It basically Thursday. Um, you can learn TikTok ads for St. Patrick's Day funny products. I'm going to teach you how uh, you request an invite, and I'll tell you right now, there's a trial offer right now on the forums. It's a dollar. You only have to spend one dollar. I just spent more. I just spent double that on my coffee this morning. I, my coffee was two dollars and some cents at Tim Hortons for a large. I just spent double the investment. You're going to get access to everything. Go here, request an invite. Just hit that request an invite, enter your email, then we'll send you uh, an invite to the forums. When you get in here, you'll be taken to this one, the one main part, general, right in here. This is our kind of welcome thread. So here's a table of contents. So you're not only getting access to this training, the um, current one, you get access to all the completed ones too. I've been doing this for a long time. So look in here in the forums, see all these completed challenges, birthday, Valentine's Day, Christmas challenge, three, two, one, face masks and Etsy, wedding challenge, one and two, teacher gifts, Father's Day, Mother's Day, one and two, funny coffee mugs, Valentine's Day. Man, we, we've already run two Valentine's Day challenges because I started my first challenge in September of 2019 on the forum. So you can go in. Do you want to look at that one? Cool. Read me first. There you go. All the training is right in here. There is a boatload of training. Each one of these sessions is like an hour long. So if you want to learn uh, paid traffic, and if you want to learn print on demand, you need to be in the forums. That's the best way to do it. It is dirt cheap. The dollar trial does convert to a full trial after seven days of $49.99 a month, which is not enough. I really got to raise the price because you're getting like three hours of live training for um, 50 bucks. That's nuts. All right. So I'm going to, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, we're coming up on the hour. So I, I didn't even think I'd go this long. I'm actually quite happy with this. But uh, there's the page. We're going to be doing TikTok ads. We're going to be, I'm going to show you everything from step like A to Z. You're going to watch me in the platform launching a campaign. You're going to watch, um, I'm going to use probably Gearbubble for this because I love them. Um, we're going to use them for our shirts. We can do personalized shirts. We can do coffee mugs. We can do shot glasses. We can do uh, travel mugs. We can do whatever we want for this. But the key is we got to get something up and running and get it on to TikTok so we can make some money. Because time is of the essence. Um, St. Patrick's Day is going to roll up on us pretty quick. So we want to make sure we get this done and up and running um, as fast as possible. Okay. And then, I mean, after that, if you stay on board, that's awesome. Because I'm, I'm gonna, I do a challenge a month, basically. I just did a little bonus here because I wanted to squeeze in the St. Patrick's Day one. Because I seem to miss it every year. So I want to make sure I got it in this year. Um, but anyway, uh, doo -doo -doo. oh, you just uh, she lost her ad account. I appealed, got, my, got it back in 10 minutes. All right, on. Are you going to have a separate TikTok ads course too? Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Very interesting. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, this page is available to you. Um, once it, you know, once that timer hits zero, the first live training session is going. So you can get in right now for a buck. After that, uh, the trial is probably going to be gone. Uh, so here's a question. How much does it cost to sell one father to daughter gear bubble necklace using TikTok ads? Uh, about the same as it does on Facebook. So for I price mine at thirty nine ninety five. I make now about like thirty two dollars per sale. So you're looking at about twenty five ish twenty twenty five twenty seven per sale for a necklace. Um, obviously, the lower you go in price the more you're gonna sell volume wise, but the less profit margin there's gonna be. Uh, another question coming in. In general, what is a realistic budget to succeed on TikTok? Okay, that's why I did this. Because I want you guys to, like that's like asking um, how long is a piece of string, right? I, it depends on you. So let's say your budget is super low and you go, okay, well the goal is like not even a thousand per month. I wanna make like a hundred dollars in a month. Well, then your uh, cost for one sale is still 10 bucks. It's going to take you like 10 days. So your profit is there. Your actual um, ad cost is going to be $6 for the month or for the day. So actually, let's put another column in here. Revenue per day. And then we'll do, I don't want to confuse it, but per month we could do too. So your budget depends on what you want to start with. If you're looking for a simple answer, um, start small. Right. So for me, I'll typically spend a hundred dollars testing a product. 
whether it's Facebook or Google or YouTube, whatever it may be, same for TikTok. So if I set the budget to 25 a day, I know that it's going to take me like four days to fully test that product. So if I give it $100, if your, your budget's lower or if you don't have a budget, then this isn't for you, to be honest, because you have to spend money to make money in this business. There's no There's no free lunch, right? Never is, never will be. Uh, do you run retargeting ads on TikTok? You absolutely can. It's very cool because you can build custom audiences and you can retarget. Um, the neat part about this too is you can do like multi-channel retargeting. So you could take your traffic from TikTok, which by the way is dirt cheap. We're looking at like $5 CPM rates and like sub 30 cent cost per clicks right now on TikTok. You can take that traffic, send it to your page, on your page, you can have a pixel for Facebook. You can have a pixel for Google. You can have a p pixel for um, whatever other platform you're on, including TikTok. So there's three places right there that you can be building custom audiences so that you can retarget all across the web. If you got really fancy, you could buy a program like AdRoll, and they'll retarget all over the place too. What if you wanted to? What if you wanted them to click from TikTok, go to your product page, and then you wanted to retarget them all over the internet? Well, you could create a Google display ad that's targeting only the people from that custom audience that you built from TikTok. So there's a lot of different variations we can do here. Uh, I tried downloading the setting expectation spreadsheet, but it said I need access. Okay, hang on. Share. Oh, here. There, try now. Let me know if that works. I meant to say, is CPC comparable to Facebook? It's cheaper, cheaper, David. Way, way, way cheaper. Because honestly, not not as many people are on there. In fact, very few of us, uh, you know how they always say marketers ruin every platform? It's not ruined yet. <laughs> so we're kind of getting in before the rest of the herd comes stampeding in after us. So as soon as they realize how you know, how well, when you put the puzzle pieces together in the correct order, how well it works, they're going to be stampeding in here. So if we're in there, we're like pioneers now going into TikTok. Uh, yeah, let me know if that link works. If the ad costs are so much cheaper, why does it still cost about the same to sell a necklace on Facebook? Um, on Facebook? Oh, Facebook's wonky. It probably costs even more on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, you got it? Good. So the spreadsheet is now available. Sorry about that. Uh, fix that link. I always forget that part. But now you can go and tinker, right? So you're like, you know what? Well, I want to do 500 a month. And that would make me happy to start. And that's like three sales per day. I can do that. Or you go, you know what? Well, this is a number. When, I'm, when people are talking about one-on-one -on -one with me, they always seem like, if I could just do 10000 a month, I'm like, that's cool. Here's how much you got to spend. Can you do that? No, 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 no way. I can't spend $667 a day. Are you nuts? I'm like, but you're making like 333 in profit, you know, before all your other business expenses. What's wrong with that? Well, well, in that case, you know, it's just people getting from this number, they don't really remember this number. They just see this number and they think they're lighting money on fire. That's not the goal of paid traffic. The goal of paid traffic is put this in and get this out. So if you don't put this in, you're not going to get this out. So that's the whole thing, pay traffic. Uh, if you're asking for like, you know, what what are your costs per purchase on every item? I, I don't really have the enough details to give you a, a definitive answer. I'm not selling necklaces on TikTok yet um, because I, do, I just haven't got into it yet. Like I, I told you, we're like, we're going to be pioneers. So um, the best way to answer that is to run some tests, run them, see what you get. I mean, my numbers are going to be different from yours. So. I can't really give you a definitive answer as far as necklaces go. Uh, just honestly, because I haven't run many necklaces on there, not enough to have any uh, good stats. But the focus, I'm not going to be selling necklaces this time. Right. Uh, I know you do YouTube ads as well, which has the better conversion rate between YouTube and TikTok. That's a good question. Uh, I haven't really run much on TikTok yet. Uh, like I said, I, I'm pioneering this too, right with you guys. So um, YouTube ads have a lower conversion rate than, say, Facebook ads, uh, depending on the product. 
So if I'm selling a physical product on YouTube, it's not going to convert a, as high a clip as Facebook ads. It'll still convert. Um, sometimes though, even though it's not converting as much, it's a little bit more profitable on YouTube. Now, when I run a, an info product on YouTube, it blows away Facebook. Not even, not even comparable. Even though the cost per lead on YouTube will be higher, the actual conversion and the and the value that I get out of it is so much better on Facebook. So uh, it just it each one of these platforms requires a totally different funnel and a totally different um, like the video that you'd use on Facebook can't really use it on YouTube. It's not really the same because people want to be educated more on YouTube. It's weird. They're, they all have the, their nuances, whereas TikTok. People want something cool and they want something funny and they want something that gets attention for them. That's the goal of TikTok. Like we showed, like, I think it was 83% of people on TikTok have posted content. They posted that because they want attention. So if they want attention, let's give them products that get them attention. So that's what we have to do. Now, me, I come from the world where I sell necklaces a lot and I sell them to males. So selling my necklaces on TikTok is not going to work as well because there really aren't as many males on there. There's a ton of females, but there's not as many males. So I need to switch all my stuff to focus on, like, instead of to my daughter, love dad, I would do to my daughter, love mom. So I got to switch everything to get onto TikTok. So you look at the demographic and then you figure out, okay, does my product match that demographic? My current necklace lineup doesn't match the TikTok demographic. I think that's why I ignored it for so long. But making some simple, you know, edits instead of love dad, I put love mom. Now I got something that can work. All right. Um, what is oh, oh, I just lost my spot. What is the TikTok business plan name again? Business plan. Oh, the ad credit thing. Um, that is I think I closed that damn. Yeah, they just go TikTok ad credits, and then uh, you can see how to apply. Maybe I'll put the video up on the, on there. I uh, totally missed how to access the expectation spreadsheet from the forums. No sweat, got you covered. There you go. Oh, oh. there you go. It's right here. Great the group. Uh, is it a link there on the St. Pat's thread? Yeah, it's in the group. This is my group, right? Single. Yeah, to my mom from daughter too, right? There you go. Yep, Jim's got it. You got it. Oh, another question. You mentioned on a previous call you could sell shine on necklaces for 99 and a half in the past. Is the quality of shine on that much better that you can sell them for twice as much as gear bone necklaces? Yeah, the quality is better on shine on. It absolutely is. Uh, I found it doesn't matter though. It really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is, is it converting? Is it put money in your pocket? That 99 one, that was during the fourth quarter. Uh, and that was uh, beginning of December that I had a really hot necklace that I jacked up the price because I knew people were getting desperate for a Christmas gift. So year round, I probably wouldn't go 99. Um, I go lower. But when you have something that's hot, you can just keep ratcheting up the price and see when do sales start dropping off. And at that point, that's when you just pull it back a notch and leave it there it's always testing and like honestly don't uh, my thing is i hope nobody's an engineer on here but engineers and online marketing don't go together because they they need black and white rules and numbers and calculations and math and they plug that in and then they say that's what i'm getting and then when it doesn't work out they say well the system's broken somehow no, the system's not broken. There's a gray area. So there's an art and a science to this whole online marketing thing. So people saying like, what's your cost for purchase on this? Well, mine on this particular necklace is X amount. But on this necklace, it's Y amount. And on this platform, it's Z amount. It's all different. It doesn't matter what mine is. It matters what yours is. The thing, the high level view, the only thing that matters in this business is how much did you put in money-wise and how much did you get out? If you're positive on what you got out, you're doing well. If you're negative, you're not doing well. That's where you probably need some help. That's a whole thing. So don't get hung up on the individual numbers. And that's like when I, anytime I go into Google search ads and people, I start teaching that and people be like, well, my click-through rate is this, this, and X, and this. And 
my the view rate on my YouTube ad is uh, or the view share or whatever it is um, is you know below twenty percent. What should I do? And it's just like, are you making money? Yes or no. If you're making money, you're good. If you're not, then it's just there's a lot of white noise that we don't have to worry about. That's my only thing. So engineers for me, um, when they come into my like my website, oh man, that they we're not a good match because they they have the science side down to a pat and their brains are wired to go or an accountant or an engineer. I guess more engineers is what I've experienced. Um, they they just they don't make good marketers. Engineers don't get they don't make good online marketers at all. So I apologize if it's, if anybody is or listening to this, but um, so we we need to create video ads for our product. Yes, you do. And I'm gonna teach that too, absolutely. And there's actually on TikTok, when you're actually launching your campaigns, you can you can create your own video ad, you can outsource your own video ad for like dirt cheap, I'm gonna show that too. Or you can actually create it right in their dashboard. So the one in the dashboard is not the best, but it'll get you up and running. And then it's a good way to test, right? So they'll basically take some images, just like you can do with Facebook ads. You could plug in some images into the ads manager and Facebook will create videos based on those images. TikTok took the same thing. So you, you upload some images, they'll actually create a short little uh, video with your, uh, your text and your call to action on it. So it's not a bad way to start because you don't wanna be um, paying a whole bunch of money for like designs and a whole bunch of money for videos uh, when you don't have the budget for it. That's that's my whole thing. Uh, how much would your year round price be for a shine on necklace versus gear bubble? Um, can you post that in the group for me? Cause I can post that in there too. But uh, shine on right now, 49.95 for silver. And then I think I go 69 i don't really sell many shine on right now i know gear bubble is 39.95 for silver 49.95 for gold right about there i don't find the spreadsheet in your group oh then this is another benefit of facebook group <laughs> they don't show things to everybody as soon as i put it in there so uh this is it I don't know if you can search search for like free spreadsheet. Here, go to this thing in my group. This little search thing. Type this in and search. See what comes up. There it is. Try that. That might work for you. Got it. Okay, cool. All right. So we are. Yeah, we actually went over it. So um, one question for you. For you uh, veterans of my webinars, do you like this format better or do you like the Google slide thing? I might do a hybrid on the next one. I, th I kind of like the organic like back and forth that we had in this one. Makes it a little bit more interesting because I've been through a lot of webinars and I've, I've watched the slides and I'm like, yeah, I get it. They're polished and they're put together, but you get bored, right? Sometimes maybe it's nice to just mix it up, right? Okay, awesome. I like it. I like both. All good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'll just maybe I'll keep. Yeah. Slides are nice, uh, but this is more interesting because it's more like just having a conversation with you guys. So I love it. And actually, all of you uh, stuck around to the end, which I noticed that too because I can see the stats on attendees, and sometimes people drop off near the end. So that's very cool. Anyway, you you have a lot to chew on. Uh, the main thing is, I think this. <laughs> Get in there. Join. It's a freaking dollar. Come on. We'll get you in for seven days. If you want to cancel, just let me know. I even have people that are like, it'll go past uh, seven days and they'll be like, ah, you know, I didn't really want that. That's cool. I don't care. I'll refund you the $49.99. If you think my time's not worth it, no problem. No problem. You can come back later. No big deal. So anyway, go here, ppc-coach.com slash trial. Request an invite. New system, right? Always adapting, adjusting, and moving forward. Um, that'll get you in. And then uh, we're starting Thursday. So... If you're watching this after Thursday, you can still probably get in, uh, but you'll be watching the replay of the first live training instead of the, you still have two more live ones that you can do. Okay, I'm going to close with that. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you in the forums. We'll see you in the group. And uh, I hope you guys got some value, got some ideas, got the, the wheels turning. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you later.